Hey there. So Mike's Korean Kitchen here. Just going to make something real easy and simple today. Antelope, as I would call it. In Korea, they call it a red melon. It's a cantaloupe. It was grown here in Korea, as it says, Wansanji Gukmesan. That means that it was grown here in Korea. These are pretty new, they're seasonal. They just got here maybe four years ago or so. You can only find them in July and August, just like my mangoes. But cantaloupes and mangoes are my favorite fruits. This is a ceramic knife I found. Really great, wonderful, because I've heard it keeps your vegetables and fruits fresher, longer than using a metal knife. Don't know if that's true, but I think it's highly likely. So first step is, of course, to chop it in half. And as you see, here's a cantaloupe. So now, next step, get rid of all these seeds. Now, in order to clean this, in America, most people would just scrape this out, throw it in the trash can, and get rid of it. Or maybe you might, if you live in the countryside, you'd take that to the compost. That's great. That's basically the idea in Korea. We don't dump this really down the drain. We don't throw it in the trash can. But we have, most families, we have what this is called is umsik. That basically means a food waste container. It has a top, and it also has a pullout for the juice of whatever it's in there to run in there. And just take a spoon. Right that into our food waste container. So, I'll show you where this food waste goes. If you live in an apartment or other places, some people just have a food waste bag that they have to pay money for to get rid of your food waste. But in Korea, you don't throw your food waste in a normal trash can. You throw it in the food waste container. So not only do we recycle plastic, aluminum, glass, and all the other recycling things, but also food waste is recycled in Korea. Now, we scrape that all out, put that into our food waste container. And now we have our cantaloupe to chop up. So again, I like to do this, chop this in half, chop this one in half, then again, chop these in half, And this will get us eight slices of cantaloupe or red melon, as they would call it in Korean. So if you go to the store and you want to get some cantaloupe, make sure you find this red label and it is red melon. Not musk melon, not honeydew melon, but red melon or what I'd like to say is cantaloupe. Now, when I was a kid, my mom just gave us this to eat, and we just used a spoon and scraped it out. I like to cube it up, though, so we're going to slice off the cantaloupe peel. that part.
always be careful when handling a knife. Even a ceramic knife is incredibly sharp still. The wife thought for some reason we wouldn't get cut. And I was like, uh, no, this will definitely slice your finger open. And it should stay fresher longer by using a ceramic knife. At least that's what I've heard. At least that's why people are all buying ceramic knives nowadays is because I believe it keeps your vegetables such as lettuce from going brown longer. So now we have our eight pieces rind free. There's our rinds all right there. And then I just chop these up into nice squares, cubes. I know you're probably like, Mike, this is just a simple video. Like, why are you even putting a video on here? This channel. <laughs> well, same as the mango video. It's just a mango. But I've waited a long time to get cantaloupe in Korea. It just came to Korea about 2012, I want to say. It's really hard to find cantaloupe. It's only available in the summertime. Suppose if I have a military connection, I might be able to get it off the military base throughout the year. But in Korea, at most marks, this cantaloupe or red melon is only available in July and August, maybe early September if you're lucky but it's probably gone now. So I got one of the last cantaloupes you could probably get in Korea for this season. So until when this is gone, I gotta wait until next summer. This cantaloupe was also about 7,000 won or close to seven bucks for a cantaloupe. Oh word, bring me right back from my hometown. We have a melon vegetable, famous for cantaloupe. So, there is wonderful, juicy cantaloupe. So happy that it is now in Korea. So now, these plastic cutting boards are so great. So you can just fold them up, put them in there, and wow, I got enough to eat for a snack and still have some left over for later. So that's that. Now to make my life easier, I chop this up so I can fit it in my food waste bucket. So fill up my food waste bucket and then we take the food waste bucket outside where the big food waste container is for the entire building to throw all of our food waste in. We have like two or three of them. I'll show you that once we're done here. So I chop up the kennel rind. Here's a bag. Try to throw this here in our food 
the way from the bucket. There's our food waste bucket. So here's right outside my apartment. There's a nice little playground for kids and stuff. There's a bike tied up to a tree. And here's the sidewalk. There's the parking lot. I just live on the second floor, so it's not too big of a deal. But as you see there, there's a dumpster for trash bags. And right next to them, you see two little other dumpsters. This is the unpleasant part. Here is the label in Korean. Not exactly sure what that says, but basically that's about your food waste. As you see there, there's everybody's food waste. Somebody threw away a lot of grapes. So, dump that in there. As you see, there's that. Life is handy. And there's the plastic bag. some cantaloupe and gurria. You got to enjoy it during the summertime because it's not going to be available later on. It's a bit of a process living here, but it's pretty good. They recycle all that food waste out there that I showed you. It's just a quick wash and it's done. And it tastes just like back home. Have a great day.